indistinguishable. Okay. I didn't pay for it. That's that's how it was different. <laughs> uh, last week on uh, Xbox Live Arcade, Duke Nukem 3D arrived I to celebrate the 11th anniversary of Duke Nukem Forever not arriving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently, there is uh, some extra bonus content if you get all achievements in uh, in all 200. Right, all yeah. 200 points in. So you get like the 3D, then you get like a teaser or CG render or something. Oh, it's two. Oh, you're serious? It's two I'm in-game serious. screenshots, like how I do long Are they bigger than a postage stamp? One of them is like a <laughs> no, first-person perspective of him shooting a pig cop or again, a and there's one like him in like wow. a strip club as usual. Yeah. So we, they're really we, like, they're really unlock, branching out. Unlock the old E3 trailer we gave a shit about. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I, I believe George Broussard said. Yeah. All right. I believe George Broussard said, "No, no, we've retconned that out of existence." It never happened. We have always been at war with Eurasia and the pig cops. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway, I, I keep meaning to download Duke Nukem 3D, but I've been kind of busy lately. So one of these days. Um, other interesting news. Um, the October releases for Japan's Virtual Console have been released. Nothing really exciting there except for one game, which is Ghost, uh, Ghost and Goblins, Ghost and Ghouls, Ghouls and Ghosts. One of those, one of those games, <laughs> Dai Makaimura, whichever one that turned out to be. Uh. But that's interesting because rather than being the Super NES version or the Genesis version or the NES version, it's actually the Super Graphics version, and this is the first time that any Super Graphics game will be available for Virtual Console. I don't know if you guys know what anything about the Super Graphics. I know that it existed, but what's <laughs> the what? What would be the difference in that from any of the others? The um, the Super Graphics was an upgraded version of the TurboGrafx-16 that was released, I think, only in Japan Mm. and had a total of, like, seven games released for it. It's one of the most poorly supported releases. Wow. Um, There were a couple of games that would work on a TurboGrafx-16, but if you played them on SuperGrafx, they were upgraded. But basically, it had more RAM and maybe more processing power, but it was basically just an upgraded TG-16. And... uh, Tur- super graphics systems are actually really cheap if you get them in Japan, but the games themselves go for ridiculous amounts. Shane could probably, wow. t- I think Shane might have a complete collection of super graphics <laughs> games. It wouldn't surprise me. Uh, he could, he could probably tell you it. about like how he, you know, went without uh, an apartment for a couple of months yeah. so that he could have <laughs> <laughs> some shooter or game right. or something for super graphics. Wow. But, um, so, you know, I don't know if that'll come to the U.S. It, it could. It might not. It's really hard to say because Nintendo doesn't like to talk about what they're actually going to release. <laughs> um, but just know, the fact Why would you want to let people know? Right. But the fact that this game actually will be coming to Virtual Console is pretty...